Welcome back folks. We're gonna get our last group of cows up into the hills today. Yesterday we brought them over to the pasture right around our corrals and they didn't go far. They're just waiting for us. So we don't have much to ride to get them into the corrals this morning, which is fine. So we're gonna get them in there and get some trucks loaded here pretty soon. Come on girls. Come on. We've got about 200 pairs going up to Cheyenne Crossing, our Cheyenne Crossing grazing permit on the Black Hills National Forest. We'll have five semis coming, one's here already. The rest are still on their way. Come on, girls. How's this horse doing, Ruben? A million times better. A lot better? Yeah. It's a lot more enjoyable game. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did you think of Tonto's cut? You think it's all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, just barely, it looked bad when it was bleeding, but right. I didn't have to put anything on it. Okay, that's good. The rain is the flies don't get on it, but yeah. no Good. Yeah, well, we were hoping it wasn't going to be bad, so. Yeah. yeah, he seems to like the cows, Winston. Yeah. It's a pretty horse. <laughs> seems to like the cows. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And Trump. <laughs> yeah, and Trump. Devin, this is his trailer. He hauls some cows for us. As you can see, there's different compartments for cows and calves. We just load it accordingly. Come on, calves. Hey! Hip, 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 hip. Nice day to work cows, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Get nice and soaked. Well, it's been raining all morning, getting a little sloppy. Makes me very thankful for my sweet wife who does my laundry most of the time. So thanks, honey. We got all the cows loaded, headed up here to where we're gonna unload them. So we're just gonna hold them. You can see my mom and Jack. Ruben's going down here. We're just gonna hold them kind of in this little low spot. Then there's a fence right up here. We'll just kick them through the gate and that's the first pasture they'll be in. So just gonna, yeah, get them turned out, let them get paired up and go on with the day. Go find your mom's calves. Go on. Trucks are all unloaded. They're gonna take off. We'll just wait a little longer.
So we made a little, what's the word? We made a little temporary chicken run. After we built our chicken coop, my grandpa was like, if I would have known you guys were gonna build a chicken coop, I would have just given you ours that's up at their house. Uh, my great grandpa actually built that one. It's a lot bigger, it's really nice. And we actually looked at it and decided we're gonna move it down here. Put our chickens in there and then we'll just turn this shed into some storage, which we need storage anyway. But Damaris was feeling bad for the chickens, yeah, weren't you? They never saw the light of day. Yeah, so we had to give them a little temporary chicken run until we get the other chicken house moved, hopefully this coming weekend. But the chickens have been coming out. They seem to like it a lot. Oh yeah, there you go. And Angus just looks at them like they're a snack. But how are you, honey? I know everybody's been wondering how you've been doing. I haven't seen you in a couple of videos. Oh, well, just working. Just working. And One day. Taking this care of week. Silas. Taking care of Silas. Yeah. Little buddy's sleeping right now. Mm -hmm. And he's growing like crazy. Yeah. Should we go look at your garden? He's a big boy. No, there's a lot of weeds in it right now. Oh, who cares? So you guys don't care about weeds. You guys can come and weed it for her. <laughs> She's been busy. Don't judge her by the weeds. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we all have a few weeds in our life. I will show you what we have growing here amongst the weeds. Right here, we've got our butternut squash plants coming in nicely. Again, disregard all the weeds. Here we have our cucumbers. They're coming up as well. And then if we keep going this way, it's hard to distinguish right now. But these are our beets. Those look good. This row right here. And then we have our radishes. I'm sure they're getting real close to being ready. And then we've got some carrots over here. Our carrot plants. Kind of hard to see, but snap peas are doing wonderful. Nice and tall. Honey, I was just thinking, if anybody complains about the weeds in your garden, those people are like the weeds in society. You know what I mean? They're uh, just negative. Who cares about the weeds? There's see, there's nothing weeds. even growing here. Yeah, well here we've got a whole open patch of nothing. Yeah, there's nothing here. But, we got our pepper plant. And I think there's some jalapeno and bell peppers, and then our tomatoes. We got cages for our tomatoes. Does it good? Probably right in the middle. And then right here we have green beans. Disregard that. It's just Silas's monitor. Our green beans. Those are coming in nicely. And then these big old plants are potatoes. Yeah, so that's what we've got growing. We finally got some more dirt hauled in around the house, so it's now all pretty level. I'm gonna use a Harley rake, a Harley rake, to come in and really level it out. Then we can plant some grass. I'm hoping it isn't too late in the summer, but I think if we just put some straw in the grass seed and just keep water on it, it should pop up eventually. I don't really know, but I'm gonna try it. That'll be nice to get a yard eventually, won't it, man? You could come out here. And Roll around with bubs in the grass. Yep. I can roll around the dirt too. Yeah, you can. I just haven't seen you do it yet. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for coming along today. It feels great to have all the groups of cows up in the hills. And now we're going to kind of be moving on to haying. Once the cows are up there, we do have to move them around from pasture to pasture now and then. So we'll probably be going up there still a decent amount, but won't be as much horse riding now for a few months which uh, I know you guys love, and I do too, but it's just the season of the ranch. So, we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks a lot for coming along. Really appreciate it. Bye.